and I sort of enjoy the challenge of trying to find where the the weak spots are and helping to strengthen weak spots. So over the years, <coughs> I've, I've worked for many nonprofit organizations in a volunteer capacity. Um, it's, it's sort of what I like to do. I like to fix things that either are broken or maybe just aren't as effective as they could be. I actually started life as a teacher. Uh, I worked in the field of special education and then I became an administrator. And so as an administrator, um, I had to deal with a lot of interesting issues is probably the best way to put it. And, uh, and rather than let the issues get the better of me, I, I developed the ability to let's make the best of it. Let's, let's find out how we can make it work better. Um, what what isn't functioning well, and uh, I, I learned early on <clears throat> that uh, me as an individual or any one person doesn't necessarily have the ability to to uh, effect significant changes anywhere. But if you know good people and you can recruit a team of people that can support you and and uh, be uh, be the brains behind your leadership. Uh, you create a great team of people to fix things. And if there's any, if there's any skill or strength that I have developed, it's uh, being able to influence smart people to join me and, and help work as a team. You know, I think a lot of, uh, there's been a lot of impact and, and really most of it has been probably in the last 10 to 12 of, the, of those 18 years because it took a while to, to build up some momentum and assemble the, the right team of other NAC members. And so I think the, uh, I think the, the biggest benefit of the most recent history has been our ability as a school to... Uh, to entice other people in the community who we know have been active and very committed to other organizations. As I thought about what impact um, the, the NAC has, has had, I, I look at how visible was the nursing school in the past versus where it is today. And, and I, in the early days, I talked with the a lot of people about what are you involved with in the community and I said well the nursing school at the Health Science Center um, and, and they would say oh really I didn't know there was a nursing school there I thought it was a medical school so you know all uh, people's awareness and knowledge of the Health Science Center which is now called UT Health um, was the medical school so I really think that the nursing school and perhaps the dental school and some of the others were uh, those bright lights that were kept under the under the bushel, and people didn't know about them. And so the NAC has really done a couple major things in in the last 10, 12 years. One is significantly increased awareness in the community of the work of the of the nursing school and the value that nurses bring to the medical profession. And, and the second thing is that the NAC has helped raise money for, on the lower end, and, and I don't mean this in a, in a negative way, for scholarships and research grants for faculty members, but also some of the NAC members had a significant hand in raising funds for the simulation lab. So absent people like the Nursing Advisory Council in the community, um, the dean might have had to rely on state funding or some other um, benefactor that may have been willing to step up and 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 make a gamble and make an investment in in the school of nursing. And I really think the nursing advisory council has gone a long way to help raise funds to support the work that the, the dean wants to accomplish. 
I was fortunate that um, I took over the chairmanship after some other chairs who were very good leaders. And, and so they started the momentum that, you know, I didn't have to start at ground zero and, and build from there. So uh, I had some, some really good people ahead of me that uh, sort of put the wheels in motion to, to make this a, a much more engaged and, and uh, productive group of people. I believe that I helped expand the recruitment effort to bring more people who were willing to work on behalf of the school, more people who had an interest in not just the medical profession, but that the work nurses do in the community and the importance of nursing. And so um, I don't think I accomplished anything individually. Uh, I think that I was fortunate to get a good team of, of new NAC members that came on board. And then one of the other things that, that we started was a strategic planning process. Um, if you don't think about where you want to be five years from now, you're only going to get there by accident. And so we really started doing a much more consistent strategic planning process that thought about not only what the, the needs of the school were, but the needs of the community and the needs of the medical profession and where can nurses be 5, 10, 20 years from now as a result of our work than if we weren't around? Are we, are we going to add value to the nursing profession?